guys, I'm back with another project. These are some uh, chipboard initials from the uh, from Michaels, and I wanted to do them up for a friend. So these are some gelatos. They're actually not gelatos. They're the Faber Castell gel sticks, uh, which are the they're branded for kids, not for crafters. So they're not acid free. They're not you know all the fancy stuff that gelatos are but they're essentially the same thing other than that um so if you're if you're a scrapbooker or you're trying to do something to to preserve something for an eternity yeah get the gelatos they're worth a little bit of extra money but the gel sticks are super cheap and pretty much give you the same effect um so yeah i'm just blending them out just doing a little bit of teal and a little bit of or yeah is that teal yeah greenish blue anyway adding white into there this one is a gelato like I said it really makes no difference they both blend out beautifully they both react to water they look the same I have to look at the side to see which one is the gelato and which one isn't because I just keep them in a big bucket so I pulled about pulled out a bunch of paper um, this is some old I want to say French Dictionary it might be Latin. I don't remember which. Um, and I have some of that really old vintage newspaper. Or, um, dear Lord, I cannot speak today. Music paper. So I'm just using gel medium to adhere it down. And it's kind of turning my finger blue because it's wet, so it's reactivating those uh, gel sticks. That's okay. I'm taking forever to cut cut out the uh, side there, but I'm trying to use as much as I can. I really liked this um, this particular book text page because the main letter at the top of the page is alibi, and um, yeah, I just liked it for the friend I was giving it to because I have a feeling one day I'm going to need an alibi, so. Girl, you'll be my alibi, right? So I'm just ripping up some of that really old, super old uh, music paper. And that was um, just a little portion of the music paper that I ripped off and I didn't think I'd use. So I figured, eh, stick it down. It has words on it. This part's just collage, guys. That's all she wrote. Today is my son's sixth birthday, so we got snow here in Vegas. Yeah, I know, snow in Vegas. Hell's frozen over, <laughs> right? And you can hear him screaming because he's talking to Diego on his video game. So, um, and we made him cute little snowman pancakes. It's hard having a December baby because everything's Christmassy, so we're going to put up party decorations later, but we have to take down some of the Christmas stuff to put up the party stuff. And, uh. So, my apologies to all of you Christmas babies. And, and to all the soon-to-be parents out there, try to avoid uh, February and March. Just, you're welcome. Oh, and if you're planning on getting married, avoid December. Because, yeah, we got married in December, too. I, I don't like December. December's not a fan. Or, December's not a friend of mine. Alright, so I'm sorry I missed this, but this is modeling paste. And I took off a big chunk of the um, gelato, that purple gelato to the right. And I just mashed it up. It took about five minutes to do that, to get it all blended and mashed. And then I'm just putting it through this um, Crafters Workshop stencil. This is the Art Is stencil. And just applying some random spots. My friend's favorite colors are blue and, well, aqua, but I went close enough. So, doing that. And I did use all of my leftovers um, on random art journal pages 
I think I only show a couple spots where I'm like using up some of my leftovers. Um, but I did, I use almost everything. There are a couple times I'll just go, eh. So cleaning up my stencils. I have a good video coming up on how to clean your stencils, by the way. So stay tuned for that. Grill topper and modeling paste through it. Now this grill topper is pretty thick, so it's going to create some really nice thick texture. And did I put my journal away? I did. It's super thick. So it's really cool. It's, yeah. You have to set that aside for like 24 hours, so I wouldn't even attempt to try to heat dry that. So just taking that same purple gelato that I used for the um, uh, modeling paste and just kind of smearing it here and there. I'm trying to fade that book text into the background a bit. I didn't want it to be so stand outy y. So that's a word. Can you tell I'm in college? I'm smart. I use big words like stand outy y. More screaming from Diego. So yeah, I'm just going in, like I said, just trying to color everything up. Um just hitting all those areas, blending it out, because you'll still see some of that book text and everything through it at the end. But I think what's coming up is one of my favorite parts. Because, yeah, more gelatos. That would be my wife if you can hear that. Yeah, something's making her laugh hysterically. I don't know. And it's not me, so... She said that she's been with me for ten years. She's heard all of my jokes. Can you believe that? I'm like, that's wrong. Look how shiny. Look. So I think what I did, what you didn't see there, was I sprayed some um, FW Pearlescent acrylic ink. I put it in a spray bottle with a little tiny bit of water and then sprayed it on the whole letter. I am stamping using the white mixed media inks from Donna Salazar, and I like the inks. I hate the containers they're in. They stack on top of each other, which is nice, but they um they always the lid sticks to the bottom of the other one. I just I hate the containers. So sorry, Donna. Love your products. Hate the container. But I do love that jazz. It's called jasmine is the color. So this is just some white acrylic through another Crafters Workshop stencil. And um, just adding a little bit more texture, covering some stuff up. I found out what my wife was laughing at, by the way. We bought him a game for his Nintendo DS. And it took him about 10 minutes to beat the game. So I'm thinking that it might not have been for his age group. Or perhaps that's why it was $6. I don't know. So something's happening, probably off screen. Just cleaning my stencils. All right, so now I got out some craft acrylic. Oh, see, there I sprayed with some more of that FW Pearlescent right there. And um, it's a purple color, obviously. And um, these make great shimmer mists, like great. If if you don't have, I don't really have many shimmer mists. I have the Heidi Swap Color Shine, but they're very pigmented. The uh, the acrylic inks, they're oh, they're awesome. So yeah, FW Pro Lessons in a water bottle. So I tried using some Inca Gold, and it wasn't sticking as well as I wanted. It's made for porous surfaces, so I went eh. Let's go with some silver acrylic. So I'm just hitting some of the high areas and just random areas just for some more shine and shimmer and glimmer and happiness. No ink of gold, no. And just painting up the sides. 
just to give it a finished look. Wanted black so that it would contrast. I was thinking white, but I'm like, eh, if they're put on the wall or something, white won't pop. Black will. And I used acrylic paint because acrylic paint is glossy, whereas black gesso is very, very matte. So um, I wanted something a little bit more polished as opposed to the very flat um, gesso. That's what I'm thinking of. Sorry. So I trimmed down this video a lot. I think these took me about two hours total to make. And now that I'm not in school, I actually have time to make them. I'm like, oh my god, I have time. I have time. Can't wait to get my grades. So, yeah, I'm still just coloring the sides. This was a rough semester, but I will say thank you so much to everyone for still watching my videos and commenting. You don't know what it means to me. I'm sorry I haven't had time to respond to all of you. Um, just... I've given myself permission to not respond, um, if that makes any sense, uh, because before I felt obligated to respond to every single comment I got, and I just, I don't have the time, um, so I figured you'd probably rather watch me create than hear me respond back saying thank you, thanks for watching. So just know that I, I do read all of them, and I appreciate all of them. I have them all sent straight to my phone, so... You know, if YouTube could ever find a way to make it so I could just hit reply and reply back to the comments straight from my email, that would be awesome. All right, so here's a little bit more FW Pro lesson. This is the black, and I just loaded my brush up, and I'm just tapping it on my finger just to create some black splatters. And as you can see, I got some on the bottom of the eye, and I didn't like it, but they're acrylic, so you can wipe them away a little bit, but it's still kind of came out a little grungy, so we're going to add some more splatters, and I think I'm rambling. Alright, so this is the netting from a ham. I, I love this stuff. It reminds me of French netting, like on Fascinators and all that jazz. So I love this stuff. So every time we get a ham or ham steaks or something, I save this. So I have it in yellow, I have it in black. I love this stuff. Did I mention I like this? So, yeah, I'm going to end up using this. I left this part in because you're going to see some footage that I had to keep in that involved the chipboard pieces, but I, I was planning on using some chipboard pieces and making some flourishes, and but I couldn't find anything that I really, really liked, and it, it just wasn't working for me. I, I wasn't feeling it. So I end up not using any of the chipboard at all. So you're welcome for seeing all of this completely pointless footage. But this, I do use. Uh, the one on the left is a big big old fleur-de-lis. Well, now it's on the right. And the one on the left is a crown. So I thought I liked this one, but then with the fleur-de-lis, eh, not so much. I thought the design of the fleur-de-lis kind of took away from the design of the chipboard, and... So, eventually I just say, eh, forget it all. Not the floor delete, just the chipboard. Alright, so these are, these are gold, and I did not want gold. Uh, I wanted silver, because I've already added some silver to the page. So I took some of that silver craft acrylic, and I'm just pouncing it up and down using a foam brush. And the cool thing about doing it with the foam brush is that it left little bubbly areas so it ends up making it look like hammered metal which is really cool um especially in the like the little leafy part the little swoopy part on the sides of the fleur de lis um the inside is flat so when i used the sponge brush it made it look really really um like hammered metal so yeah and then I just took a little bit of black with some silver to make it a little bit more gunmetal colored. I didn't want it stark silver. I wanted it more gunmetal. When you heat metal embellishments, be careful. They get hot, especially the big thick ones. Um, I picked up the fleur de lis and then flung it across the room because it was so hot. So, um, yeah. 
But look how cool that looks, that gunmetal. I mean, it looks completely different than it did, you know, prior. It was gold before, like a bronzy color. Now it's gunmetal. So, yeah, craft acrylic. I, I change the color of almost everything I have. If, if I can change it, I can. So, these are some white feathers. I think we just got them from Michael's. And I'm just trying to create a little design interest cluster thing on here. Of course I'm going to use that ham netting because it looks like French mesh and I love it. Or French netting, whatever you call it. And it's free. It comes with your food. I mean, hello? Yes, please. So here I'm trying to save this cluster because I liked how it looked with a little piece of tissue tape and of course tissue tape feathers didn't work out that well. But, um, so I just had to rebuild the cluster, no big deal. Just trying to save myself a minute and it didn't end up working. So I'm using hot glue just to help everything stick down instantly. Going in that little bald spot right there. Only I could do the same with my hair. Oh well, Kangles fill in my bald spot. <laughs> if you've ever seen one of my videos where I'm actually in it, yeah, Kangle. Okay, so I am using Fabri-Tac all around the sides of the piece, and then I put a big giant blob of hot glue in the middle. Now, hot glue usually doesn't adhere to metal very well. It'll eventually fall off. Um, however, I just used it for the instantaneousness of the the hold. So that's why I used Fabri-Tac and hot glue. That that tends to be the best combination for me because the Fabri-Tac holds forever and ever and always, or E6000. Um, and I always use it in conjunction with hot glue, so that way there's a spot... There's my kid again. It's his birthday, and he always had a sugar for breakfast. So, um, so anyway, the the hot glue and the um, strong glue, Fabri-Tac, Helmar, Quick Dry, um, E6000. I always use those in conjunction with hot glue. So then that way, there's something that holds it instantly, and something that holds it forever. Because the hot glue will eventually give out, especially on metal. So here I'm just building another little cluster. The mesh was sticking out in all kinds of crazy places, so I'm just helping it stick down by putting some glue. And I'm doing a whole bunch of nothing. Actually, what I'm doing is pulling out flowers, so. These are Wild Orchid Crafts by my dear, dear friend, Kelly Merton. Who I need to text later today and ask her a question. So, Kelly, if by the time you've seen this, I haven't texted you, text me and say, hey, what's up? So I'm using, this is more of the uh, FW Pearlescent in the spray bottle. I am just spraying down the flowers. Wait until you see them up close. The little purple ones, I just kind of drag the edges through it. I So here's here it is up close. See, I just wanted the tips done like that. Here's that purple one. Oh, shiny. So the purple, I'm just dragging the other one through. And I end up going back in with a little bit more purple. And I do believe I cut out some footage just because you couldn't see it. I was doing it kind of off screen. But I put a little tiny bit of blue gelato on those little tiny purple ones just to um, help tie them in to the rest of the, the G. Because I'm going to have a one big purple flower, I think two blue flowers. Yeah, see? I think these were white or like a pale blue. And I just used more FW Pearlescent in a blue color and I'm dipped it in and then painted it. Now when you're coloring paper flowers they tend to kind of almost melt 
A-R-T-P-O-P. -P. So I was singing Art Pop. Art Pop. Applause from Art Pop. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, um, when, you, when you're coloring paper flowers, handmade paper flowers, like I Am Roses or Wild Orchid Crafts, something like that, they tend to lose their shape. Um, they because especially if you're using really wet medium, and this is really wet medium. So, what I suggest you do is kind of try to shape it as best you can, which is what I'm doing right now off off camera. I'm shaping it, and then just set it aside and let it dry. It'll eventually dry, and then you can shape it up a little bit better once it's dry. But if you try to do it when it's wet, they they're too soggy because it's paper, and it will break. So right now I'm just using my pliers and curling up the stems so that they're just like little sprays. And I did the same thing on my Vintage Art Journal page uh, a couple weeks ago. And I gave the crown the same treatment as the Fleur de Lis so that way they matched. So I covered it in silver and then added a little black to the silver to give it a more gunmetal look. And these are still wet, which is why I'm kind of having an issue gluing them down. I was trying to get them done before my family got home, but um, yeah, I should have just waited. But see, that, that one on, at the top was giving me issues with shape because it still wasn't dry yet. Again, just curling the stem so they spray out. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my kid, because my door is wide open, but he is just, whoa, high energy today. I think they're getting ready to watch Tangled, so as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go watch Tangled too, because love it! So gluing it all down, again using a combination of Fabri-Tac and hot glue. And then what I did was I added a little bit of Tim Holtz chain to the crown. And then glued the whole thing down. So here's some still pictures. Sorry I didn't get any outside and some good lights. Too dang cold and it's snowing in Vegas. So yeah. Um, so there it is. There's the I. And there's the G. And I did a little bit of an up-close cluster, you so you can see the cluster. And that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Talk to you later. Bye.